right? So now I will control this character with my eyes. So I'm just. And you're wearing glasses. I'm wearing glasses. Yeah. And there's no problem with that, right? No problem. It, it sees through the glasses. It sees through the glasses. And uh, so basically, there's a little bubble on the game. Yeah. Based on where you're looking. Sh that's only for show. You wouldn't have that in normal game. And um, I know where I'm looking. That's only to show you where I'm looking. And how do you shoot? I just press, I just look at the target and I press a button. You just press B based on where you look? Yeah. So, uh, there's eye tracking technology going on here with IR and what's going on? Yeah, so this is an eye tracker. It's a camera with three illuminators and it takes a picture stream of your eyes. And then it's a set of algorithms in there that calculates a vector between my eyes and the screen. So suddenly this computer knows where you're looking on the screen. And you can use that as a way to interact in computer games, like I'm doing here. Uh, or, or, or you can use it to interact with a normal computer. So, uh, can, can you stand up? Uh, so, who are you? So, I'm Oscar Warner. I'm president of Toby Tech. And that is the business unit that makes the eye tracking technology and brings it to the consumer market. So you are the world leader of eye tracking, are you? Yes. And, but you've been selling this for like companies like Google and advertising agencies and yeah, we've been selling it for we've been selling it for 15 years, roundabouts. Uh, we've been doing it for people with disabilities, and those guys they use it for communications or for controlling computer devices, even if they're completely paralyzed, like with ALS or CP or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, thirty thousand something like that over the years. That's pretty big. Yes. There's a lot of disabled people that you've been able to, yes. to access computers. Yeah. But yes. also it's been used for like research and advertising. Yeah. So a lot of researchers researchers are using it for human you know, understanding human behavior. So how many are you doing that? Yeah, I don't know, but I think out of the out of yeah yeah, out of the Top 50 universities, we have 49 or our customers. So all the universities by The big ones, yes. And the advertising agencies such as Unilever and Procter & Gamble. Isn't that the biggest market for you, the advertisers, so far? No, I don't think, have to say. I, um, no, well, that's, that's what the biggest market is the, the, the uh, assistive technology market, basically, as, so far. Going forward, it's the, the consumer market. So we start now with gaming. You start now, today. No, CS. we started a year ago with the first consumer gaming device, which was Steam Series. It's a peripheral. So that's this one. Yeah, it's it's a version of this, and uh, which is 129 dollars. It's been available for a year. For a year, you plug it into a USB computer, and you can control any Windows computer with your eyes. Uh, that's really awesome. But uh, so 129, that means everybody has access. And how successful has it been so far? Uh, we have been very, very successful in the market, so it's going, it's going very well. Um, what has happened in the gaming industry now is we have around about 30 games that have implemented eye tracking that you can play. The new air, the new two new games now that we're announcing is Assassin's Creed Syndicate from Ubisoft, um, which we're showing here, and also Tom Clancy's The Division, which are going to, which are going to be integrated with eye tracking. So when they integrate eye tracking, why do they consider the game design? So what they consider is suddenly they get another pointer. So normally you have just the, the, the controller or a mouse and a keyboard. Now they get another way to point at this in this at this screen. So you can suddenly drive in one direction and shoot in another at the same time because you have two pointers. Because you and me, we can move forward and then we can throw something in this direction, but the game character can't really do that. So therefore, you get another pointer, and you get more degrees of freedom between the and, and a higher degree, a higher amount of communication bandwidth between the player and the game. But the game you were showing right there, it's not optimized for eye tracking, is it? Uh, the the Grand Theft the Grand Theft Auto Five here, it's it's it's, it's only a, well, it's a, uh, we have a mod which is. So this is not Grand Theft Auto doing it. It's a mod that we paste that we done outside, um, uh, outside, outside. But in Assassin's Creed Syndicate, which we're showing here, there Ubisoft implemented eye tracking into the core of the, the, core of the game. Hmm. It's fantastic. So in the future, maybe video games. Uh, people complain that the kids are spending the whole time uh, with the remote control yeah. might not even have the remote yeah. control. Uh, no, I don't think that's the way it's going to go. You're still going to have the re remote control. You're just going to complement it with an additional layer of control. 
So the nice thing about eye tracking is you can play the game just as you did. You don't let go of normal, normal controls, you just add another layer of control. So what I'd like to see is uh, every laptop with this built in. And right here you are you're launching uh, the world's, the world's first, first laptop with integrated eye tracking. So you're working with MSI? MSI. And this is their high-end gaming laptop? Yeah, high-end gaming laptop. <laughs> and they have integrated eye tracking. And is it uh, uh, fixed? Uh, it goes right there? Fixed to the, to the, to the, to the screen. Uh, but what would be awesome is to have this in every laptop and uh, kind of like customize the information from the web, from any app, it's the work people do. I 100% agree with you. What, what eye tracking gives you is two things. It makes the computer understand what you're interested in and it gives you another point. So it's, ve it's very, very powerful for any computing device to know what you as a user is interested in. Like just when you're browsing the web, you don't yes. have a website show. Yes, it can display content based on where you're looking. Redesign the websites in real time. Yes, it can fetch, if you look at a link, it can fetch the link quicker so that the link loads quicker where, where you're looking. It knows immediately what people are interested in. Yes. It's really important that everybody gets access to this. Yes. Yes. Maybe at next CES you'll be like next hour and Of course, What's of course. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I can ask, uh, how are people trying to compete with you? Are there other eye tracking technologies? Yeah, there are other eye tracking vendors. We are by far the largest in the world. Uh, but uh, yes, there are a few. Um, and they just have different ways of doing it? Or? It's a different technology. I'd say, you know, that we stand out by our, our technology working best for most people, which is super important when you go for the consumer market. It needs to work for everybody, and that's why we, where we truly stand out. Can you put it in yeah. Uh, the no, no, the technology, there's nothing stopping the technology from going into a phone or into VR or into console or into a car or so we, we, we right, so we're working we on the investing R &D. Yes, we invest a lot in R&D and we start with PC gaming and we start with VR and then we gradually roll out into other form factors. Alright, so looking forward to the Alright.